In today's video, we're going to talk about how to configure Maven in Jenkins. Are you new here? If you are, welcome. And if you are new here, you don't know who I am. My name is Darren Pope, and I'm a developer advocate for CloudBees. If you're using Jenkins with either Docker or Kubernetes, you're probably used to using images for all of your build tools. But a lot of people still aren't even to the level of Docker or Kubernetes yet. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be walking you through how to set up different configurations for Maven inside of your Jenkins controller so you can use numerous versions of Maven and even numerous versions of the JDK along with Maven. Our starting point today is that we have a Jenkins LTS controller 2.289.1 and attached to that controller we have an agent with the label of Linux. I've done a little bit of work early on our agent. I went ahead and I installed the Adopt OpenJDK 11.0.11, .11, and I also installed Maven 3.6.3. You'll see why later as we go through this video. So let's start where a lot of people start when they're setting up any of the tooling on a Jenkins controller. And it's really simple. We can start with Manage Jenkins, Global Tool Configuration, and then we scroll down to Maven. Now, let's go ahead and add a Maven version 3.8.1. So I'm going to give it a name of 3.8.1. You can name this anything that you want, but you'll see the pattern expose itself as we go through. So what this means is we are downloading from Apache and installing 3.8.1 when it's necessary on the agent. And what is when it's necessary? We'll look at that in just a minute. And you can see here that we have a lot of different versions of Maven. We're just going to do this one with 3.8.1, which is the most current release. So let's go ahead and click on Save. Now, when we clicked on Save, Maven was not installed yet. Maven will be installed on the agent when a job runs. If the version of Maven that you want is not installed, it will be installed for you. So it's all managed via the controller. So let's go create a job real quick and see how this works. So I'm going to call this Test Maven. I click on Pipeline, and I'm going to grab my sample pipeline here. And the way that we're going to do this is we have a pipeline of agent label of Linux. We set our tool, and the tool is Maven. And you can go look on the documentation for Jenkins to understand how this Maven tools works. We're specifying 3.8.1. This value here is the name of the Maven installation that we just created. So this is the name value. And for our example stage, all we're going to be doing is just a Maven dash dash version. So let's go ahead and click on Save and then click on Build Now. And let's watch what happens. So as it starts up, we can see that we're running on Agent 1 because that's the agent that had the label of Linux. We can see here that it's unpacking from repo.maven.apache.org if we follow the path 381. And what is happening is that it is installing Maven inside of Agent Tools, Hudson Task Maven, and then 381. If you watched the previous video about installing JDKs, this process is very similar. And if you want to go back and watch that video, up in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a link off to go watch that video about installing the JDKs. So here, what we see is that when the job ran, it checked to see if the version of Maven that we wanted, which is 3.8.1, was already installed on the agent. Since it was not, it downloaded the Maven version that we want and put it inside of the tools directory inside of where we've specified the remote root directory for the agent. And just so you can see where that is, we see here that it's home vagrant agent and then tools. If we go back and take a look at our agent real quick and configure, we can see that the remote root directory is home vagrant agent. So when the job ran, we saw that it created a tools directory. Specifically, the tool that it was doing was Hudson Task Maven Maven Installation. 
and then 381. And we can see here that when we ran Maven version, we see Apache 381, and we also see Java version 180292. Now, right now, the version of Java that is running both our agent process and our controller process is Java 8, and specifically 180292. As we move forward, we will start introducing other versions of Java, and I'll show you how to do that actually really simply. Let's look now at a different way to configure Maven. The first way, we had it automatically installed for us. If you remember towards the beginning of the video, I said I had already installed Maven 3.6.3 on my agent. So I had basically used Ansible to install the Maven version 3.6.3 on the agent. You can use Ansible, Chef, Puppet, any kind of configuration management tool. That's up to you. I'm using Ansible in my example. So now let's go over and configure it. So I'm going to go back to Dashboard, Manage Jenkins, Global Tool Configuration. Let's scroll down to the Maven section again. You can see now that it says Maven Installations instead of Add Maven, which is what it was initially. So we'll click on Maven Installations. And now we see 381, which is the one that we just tested. And we can click either on Add Maven here at the top or Add Maven here at the bottom. I'm just going to use the top. It doesn't really matter. For this version, we're going to use 3.6.3. We're going to point it at the version that I already have installed on the agent. So the way I'm going to do this is I am going to uncheck my install automatically. And I am going to specify the location for my Maven home. So in this case, my Maven home lives at opt tools Maven Apache Maven 3.6.3. So 363 specifying a Maven home. Let's go and click on save. So if for some reason, Maven did not exist in that directory, we would get an error. But since I know that it's there, I know it's going to be okay. So let's not create a new one. Let's just stick with this test Maven. We're going to reconfigure this and change our tool version from 381 to 3.6.3. Let's click on save and see what happens. And build now. And for two, we can see here that, okay, we've got our tooling. We ran our Maven version and we see it's 363. The Maven home specifically is OpTools Maven Apache Maven 363, which is what we just specified in our configuration. So this is a second way of configuring Maven within your Jenkins controller. Now let's go take a look at a third way to manage Maven. We'll go back to dashboard, manage Jenkins, global tool configuration, go back down to Maven, Maven installations, had Maven. This time we're going to install 3.5.4. So 3.5.4. I'm going to delete the installer for install automatically. And I'm going to add an installer and I'm going to select extract star.zip or star.hardgz. Now in this case, what this tells us is if I'm on an agent with a specific label. So in our case, the label that I want is Linux and the download URL, which I've already captured the link for, is archive.apache.org slash dist, and you can read the rest of it, but you can see here that this is 354. But when this extracts, it's going to have a subdirectory. So it doesn't extract everything into root by default. So when it extracts, it's actually extracting into Apache Maven 354. Let's go ahead and click on save. Whoops. And let's fix this so it reads correctly. There we go. Well, something weird. We'll see what happens. Let's click on save. Let's go back to our job and modify our tool version. So 3.5.4. 3.5.4. Whoops. Don't do that. Save and build now. All right, waiting for three to start up. We can see here that it's unpacking very similarly to how we did the install automatically. We gave it just a 381 and it went off and did all the things for us. 
But here we gave it the exact URL to download, and we can see that it's unpacking into roughly the same location, actually the exact same location up to this point, and just put it into 354, which in this case is the name of the Maven version that we created. Now if we come back down here and take a look at our Maven version, we can see that it's 354 and still using Java version 18292. What happens if you need to use a different version of Java with Maven? Let's say that you need to use Java 11 with Maven 381. How can you do this? You can do that quite simply just by setting a Java home environment variable. So let's go back over to our job and make the change. So configure. And here I'm going to create an environment block. And I'm going to set Java home. Now I've already installed Java on my agent in a specific location. I did that with Ansible during the initialization. So here, all I need to do, if I find my notes, here they are, all I need to do is specify the location of my Java, which in my case is opt tools JDK and then JDK 11011. So just setting the Java home environment variable is all I need to do. So let's click on save. Oh, actually, I'm gonna make one more change there. Let's go and change this back to 381. Not that it matters, but 381 is the latest. So save, Java Home. Now let's go ahead and do a build. If we take a look at the output, we can see here that 381 did not install this time because it was already installed. It checked to see if it existed, so 381 already exists, so it doesn't need to be installed. So we get down here, we see Apache 381, or excuse me, Apache Maven 381. We can see the location for Maven Home, but remember last time our Java version was 8 underscore 292. Now it's pointing at 11 just because we set our Java Home environment variable to the specific location for our Java Home for Java 11. And that's four ways you can configure your Jenkins controller to use specific versions of Maven. You can either have it installed automatically, you can already have an existing installation on your agent and you just point it at the Maven home. You can have it download the zip file directly for you. And also, if you need to use a different version of Java with Maven, because under the hood, Maven uses the Java home environment variable to determine which version of Java it needs to use. So really, we installed Maven three different ways and we showed a fourth way to be able to use a different version of Java with a specific version of Maven. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBeesDevs. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.